welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a California adventure layout in my journal. I was inspired to create this page from all of my amazing memories from California Adventure, some of my favorite pictures I wanted to put in this layout because Disney just announced that they're doing a touch of Disney at California Adventure. I probably will not be going because for my family of five to go it would be over $400 so I probably won't be there and I'm still in a state of quarantine over here because I've avoided COVID this long. I definitely don't want to um, press my luck at all. So anyway, but I do have my memories and I love all my memories from California Adventure. I have many, many, many happy memories with my family. So this layout is dedicated to those happy memories. So I have this great page. I love this very little cute dot um, paper. I did want some of it to show through, but I knew because of many, many, many of my pictures from California Adventure have a very um, subtle up theme, sometimes not so subtle. So I found this cloud paper that I wanted to add. So I just ripped it so you could still see that little text from that stamp on one side because it was cute and it was from a different layout and I didn't want to cover it up. So I ripped the paper so that you can still see that. I just used my glue stick and I'm gonna stick it on half that page. And that cloud paper will be a nod to Pixar's up. So I made this laminated page and I just wanted to show you the quick process. I have a very old laminator, I got it from Target and I printed out an up picture on my inkjet printer and I just glued it to some um, lined paper. I actually had this lined paper from an up journal that I had purchased from the Disney store. So I just trimmed it down so that I could put it um, into a laminator pouch that would then go into my heat. Uh, thermal heat printer. So now that I have it the size that I want, I got a laminator pouch that I also purchased at Target, put it right in the middle, and I fed it right through the laminator machine to create a page that I will then use washi tape to make like a fold out onto that cloud um, page that I just created. And um, so there it is, that's the laminated page. And now I'm just gonna trim it to fit because it's a little bit big. So I'm just gonna use my paper slicer and I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm not gonna try to make it exact perfect. Um, that's not super important to me as long as it fits and it's um, about right, that works for me. So about right was just enough. And so um, I just got my washi tape and I put washi tape on one side and washi tape on the other. And that created a great little um, fold out for this cloud page. And it's very easy to do. It's a technique I use all the time. I think a lot of people who create junk journals use fold outs in um, their layouts because it um, creates space to journal or even just more space to be creative or add photos. So it was a fun way to do it. I was very happy with how it looked. It looked like the little balloon house was floating in those clouds. And so now I want to add a few embellishments onto that clear um, laminated fold out. I didn't know what. A lot of this layout is really just me sort of flying by the seat of my pants. I usually try to plan these out a little bit better, but this one just really wasn't. It was um, kind of an idea that came into my head and I just was trying to make it come to life. So you'll see me very sort of all over the place in this layout, and I'm totally okay with that. I'm, I'm happy with you all seeing me being a little bit more real in my layout. I flip back and forth a lot. I kind of jump from page to page because to be very honest, I really don't know what I'm doing. But at the end of it, I'm quite happy with how it came out. I'm okay that it took a little bit of uh, chaotic, um, behavior to make it happen because I was really happy with the end result. Um, so I'm just going to put some washi tape down the center so that that page stays on there. And that washi tape I use, I don't know why, it never comes off clean. But that was fine. It was it was enough. It, it served the purpose. 
and I just used a different one to make sure that it um, stayed all the way down. And um, actually, once I was done, I liked the way it looked kind of um, different. I liked that kind of patchwork look. So now I'm just kind of flipping back and forth because I'm deciding where I'm going to go next and what page I'm going to work on. And I found this vintage wallpaper. I purchased this wallpaper on Etsy. And it was very reminiscent of Ellie to me. Ellie in the movie Up. So I thought, well, I'm just going to glue that down. Because I love the colors. It reminds me of Ellie. So I'm going to put it on this layout because it makes me happy. So I just use my glue stick. And I'm just going to put it on there as straight as I can. Just right in the middle. Um, I thought those colors looked so pretty on that green paper, and I really love flowers, so the print made me happy. And so now that that's down, um, I'm going to show you the part, how this page came to life. Um, I found this picture online, it actually isn't my photo, and it's a picture of Mickey's Fun Wheel, and um, I'm just going to cut it out. And I knew I wanted it to actually spin. So what I do is I punch a hole in the middle and then I use a very small mini brad and I put it right in the middle of the Mickey's Fun Wheel photo that I just cut out. I put it right in the middle and I put it through the hole that I just cut with my mini hole punch. And now you'll see that Mickey Fun Wheel actually spins. That was actually the inspiration from this page, uh, for me to create this page. And um, so I'm happy to see it come to life. I love an interactive quality on layouts. So um, I'm gonna add this postcard from my friends over at Sanctuary 28 Studios. I purchased this from their Etsy shop. Those clouds reminded me of the up clouds. And so it was perfect for this layout. I love their work. I also love them as people. And so if you have a moment, do stop by their Instagram and their Etsy shop because they are wonderful and artistic and I absolutely love Sanctuary 28 Studios. So this is their postcard that they sell in their Etsy shop. I'm just stapling it down on two sides to the bottom of this page to create a pocket that, that I will then add um, photos into um, of my, my girls from California Adventure. I apologize if I sound a little all over the place too. I'm filming this and it's late and I'm exhausted, but I was excited to get it done and I was excited to share this page with you. So um, I did realize though at this point that I had so many pictures that I actually had to add an additional page, which is what, which is what you see me doing with that time card. I'm actually adding washi tape and creating a little half page because I didn't want to leave any pictures behind. I really wanted them all to be on there. So I created a half page and now I'm finding the four photos that kind of are all about the same size. And I'm just going to kind of temporarily stick them on there with a little bit of washi tape. And then I'm going to grab those other photos and just staple them right onto the, the back so that they all line up perfectly. And it creates an extra little page with those four pictures. And I love the way that looks. And I love that it's onward and up and Lizzie leaping like a gazelle in front of Pixar Pier. <laughs> That's my favorite picture of her. I make her leap everywhere because I feel like if you have that talent, you should use it. So I literally make her leap everywhere. And this photo of Abby, if you know her, this is actually a picture, a still taken from the commercial she shot with Disney. So that's also a very special photo for me and a very special memory that I got to share with her. It was so fun to be at California Adventure with a crew and lighting and she was the talent so it was really fun that was a wonderful memory so had to have that on here and um, so what I'm doing is I'm just sticking two photos together um, so that when they go into that pocket it looks like they're only one picture but it's actually two and um, so I'm just trimming them down so that they match and then I'll just stick them right into that pocket so that they can be together and then I think I'm gonna head over to the other page because like I said, I'm just all over the place. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just know I wanna get all of these memories into this layout because all of these memories make me happy. So that's a picture of Abby dressed as um, 
Ellie as a child from Up, and she's holding that adorable Up balloon that we had forever. That balloon lasted forever. And um, so I'm sticking that right onto the clouds. I'm gonna put my journaling that I'll do off camera above it onto the clouds. I'm adding little gold photo corners because photo corners really, to me, are very reminiscent of the adventure book in the movie Up. So that was a fun little touch, in my opinion, to add to that picture. Made me very happy. That was another wonderful memory of a wonderful time in our life. And that little up house just is right over it in that laminated fold out. It was just perfect. So I'm just flipping back and forth now to decide what I'm going to add next. have this little vintage playing card that I want to add because again it reminds me of Ellie as a child so I just stapled this little piece of scrap paper I found in my scrap bin and I'm just going to tuck it right onto the postcard for now um, I just wanted it on there because I don't know what about it screamed Ellie from up to me but it's special to me so I wanted to add it on there and um, I don't I think it was probably the colors other thing that's very important is I received a very sweet card from my dear friend Diane, who I talk about all the time. I literally could not run my business without her. She is one of my dearest friends. She sent me a wonderful card of encouragement and support, and it had a little Monsters Inc. stamp. So it was very important to me to add that to this layout. So I just stapled it right to the top um, because that little stamp makes me smile. So I'm getting towards the end here. I'm very happy with how it all looks, but I do need to add something to the back of that up house. And I was just gonna journal on there with a Sharpie because if you journal on laminate or the laminated page with a Sharpie, it would be permanent. But then I remembered that I would like to add something that says Paradise Falls. So I just found a little scrap piece of wallpaper and I wrote Paradise Falls and I used some washi tape and stuck it on there. And that reminded me of the glass jug that Carl and Ellie had from up. So that's on the back of the laminate fold out. I have my photos. I have a little vintage card and wallpaper. I'm very happy with how it looks. I did my journaling off camera of all my happy memories. I found the sticker that my friends from Sanctuary 28 Studios gave me with my order. So I stuck that right onto that. Um, scrap paper to remind me about that postcard and my friends who um, created it and now I'm just going to go through my stickers I want to add some more florals because it's my favorite and it reminds me of up and then of course I'm going to add those tiny word stickers because I add them to every layout I just like the way they look and I think they say a lot with just a few little words and um it adds so much to a page. It's remarkable to me how much those little tiny word stickers can add to your layout. So I always add those in the end because they make me happy. So the last thing I'm going to add is my Pixar Pier ticket. It's an old ticket I found floating around my drawer. And so I thought, well, I'm just going to glue this right onto the page because, my goodness, it fits in perfect. So I did. I just glued it right to the page. And I'm going to add some washi tape to the ends because it's a little bit thick. I don't know if you've had a Disneyland ticket, but it's like a thicker paper. And um, I started using an orange washi tape, and then I realized that this peachy, thinner one would be better. So I just added that washi tape. And pretty much my page is done now. I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. So excited. So excited to share it with you. And it brings so many smiles to my face. I just love California Adventure. My goodness, I miss it. And so hit the like button and subscribe and comment if you miss it too.
So thank you so much for following along. I hope you were inspired and I hope you have a really great week. Bye.